One minute he was out buying new football boots before the start of the Iraqi Premier League season. The next he lost his friend, his legs and his football career. Ahmed Nasser was just one of the thousands of victims whose lives was devastated by the years of sectarian violence and chaos ushered in by the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003. When someone loses a part of his body and is confined to the house, it's something new. From the moment of the explosion until today, I'm ashamed of going out in a wheelchair. My parents, relatives and friends tell me to get used to it and that what happened is God's will. But I tell them it's not within my control. A lot of things within my life have changed. Despite his losses, Ahmed found a new goal in life, Paralympic basketball. He took up the sport in 2009 under the advice from a former head of the Iraqi Football Federation and is now in the country's national Paralympic basketball team. However, despite his team's passion, it is struggling to get governmental support. We are now approaching the Wheelchair Basketball World Championship and there's still no support. The national team won the Gulf Cup in an unofficial friendly championship. We are heading to the World Cup, and to this day, no one visited us or told us congratulations. No one from the Ministry of Youth, of Sports, Parliament, or the government. While he knows he still has a long way to go before he can reconcile himself with what happened all those years ago, Ahmed knows he can count on his team for support.